Hi, how are you guys? I forget where we are today. Does anyone know? Phoenix Camp, and what's the name of this rec center and playground? Anyone know? Cecil B. Moore, that's right. Cecil B. Moore. Hey, C.B. Moore, how are you guys doing? How you doing? How you like this new playground? It's pretty nice. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Catherine. I'm the Commissioner for Parks and Recreation. I am so excited to be here at C.B. Moore, Camp Phoenix. I love that name. Like a phoenix, you are rising. That is an, a perfect, perfect name for this camp. Um, we are so excited to be here today at CB Moore because we're here today to dedicate this amazing and extraordinary and beautiful and very special new play space. I was here about two years ago and I gotta tell you, this did not look like this back then. It was a sad little play space, wasn't it? Right? Was it fun? Not that much fun. You still managed to have fun here because I saw some of you having fun here, but it wasn't nearly as fun. And now it's just absolutely spectacular. It's one of the nicest playgrounds I've seen anywhere in the city, and I visit hundreds, of, hundreds and hundreds of playgrounds. So you guys are really lucky. And I want to thank um, each and every one of you for being here today. I want to thank you for being part of our summer camp. Um, are you having a great time in summer camp? It's a really big one, right? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And I want to thank especially all of your, uh, your teachers and your counselors in your summer camp. A big round of applause for them. Yes. So projects like this don't happen um, just because we pray and wish for them. They happen because people who can make decisions make really good decisions about where to allocate resources. And we're so lucky that we live in a city with great leadership. We have a great mayor, Jim Kenney. And Jim, Mayor Kenny and City Council, our Council President, your Council, District Council Member, Daryl Clark. These, these gentlemen have to make really hard decisions every single day. But one decision they made was something called the Rebuild Initiative. And this will be a half a billion dollar investment in parks and rec centers and playgrounds and libraries all over the city. So that investments like this, projects like this, playgrounds like this aren't the exception, but they're the norm. That you guys don't have to wish and pray for things like this to happen because you'll show up at your local rec center and you'll have an extraordinary new play space like this. That's what we want to, what we want to see happen in every single neighborhood of the city. But you guys are getting it first. You guys are first on the list. and. Yeah. You, are all, you are on that list because of one leader in, in city council and in our city who cares so deeply and so passionately about this space, but also about all the spaces in his district, but certainly has a special place in his heart for C.B. Moore, and that's our council president, Daryl Clark. And I want to thank Council President Clark uh, for his amazing vision, his leadership, and his incredible willpower to help make projects like this happen. Um, we are so grateful to him for his leadership and so grateful to him for making the resources available to transform this amazing new space. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming our City Council President and your Councilman, Daryl Clark. Thank you, thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner. How you guys doing? Good. We good? We good? You like this? Come on, stop playing. You like this? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So this is a really exciting development. Um, I want to thank everybody involved, and particularly I want to thank the local residents because they brought us up here. As a matter of fact, your advisory council president came down to a city council public hearing. I didn't know him, right? right. He was like, yo, what's up? <laughs> you know, I was like, when are you going to take care of this Cecil B. Moore rec center? And he right. called us out. So one day I'm riding down 22nd Street, and I said, you know what, let me go check it out. And I walked in, and he was there, right? I said, wow, you know, I see what he's talking about. So then we went to a community meeting, and Cook, Cookie called me and said, yeah, Daryl, there, come over. And they said, what are you going to do? So then we got with the commissioner and the folks, and we said, we're going to do this rebuild announcement. We had a rebuild announcement about William Penn and all the other things, right? They said, okay, okay. They said, well, we hear all that, and there was some uncertainty. It may happen at some point. They said, well, we really appreciate the rebuild initiative, but what are you going to do like right now, right? <laughs> so we made a commitment. I want to thank Aperna and Francesco and all the folks in the Department of Rec for getting out here and doing this as quickly as possible. And I got to tell you, when we made the commitment, we were a little nervous about the timeline. They said, we're going to be able to get this done in time? They said, absolutely. So I want to thank all of the folks from the Department of Parks and Recreation, your advisory council, uh, all of the people, and more importantly, young people for being on point and making sure that we get this done. 
this is an awesome day. I want to thank you so much for your participation. Um, can I, I'd like to introduce my, my colleague on the state level, Councilman Curtis, Councilman Curtis Thomas, um, who has been a good partner in making sure that uh, I know you stay. Everybody know you stay. I'm sorry. I call you Councilman, right? I'm sorry. Uh, you, you try. You try to retire. You know, Curtis. I got a Curtis that works for me. Uh, Councilman. No, I'm sorry. State Representative Curtis Thomas, uh, who's here. Curtis, Councilman, you want to say? Want to? I'm sorry. I keep calling you Councilman, man. I'm sorry. Keep <laughs> Representative, come up here right quick, and then we'll go on to the. I know you. Let me thank Council President Clark. Let me thank the Recreation Commissioner. And let me thank all of the people that here today. Is God looking out for us? Is God looking out for us? There's no rain. There's only sunshine. And I am I am happy to be here because I've I've always taken the position that based on what we do for children today would determine what children do to the world tomorrow. And this is a giant step in making this happen. I remember when final redistricting took, took place and I learned that this would be a part of the 181st legislative district. And so as soon as we had a chance to come up and meet with the advisory council and the staff up here, and, and they made it clear that there's a list of things that need to be done, that Councilman Clark was on it, and that um, a number of other people was working with us. So we wanted to just kind of get in and, and, and make sure that we become a part of the team to make this a reality. Because dreams are only good when they become real. And so this has been a dream for a while, but it is real today. And so to the young people, enjoy yourself. Learn as much as you can this summer. Go back to school in the fall and get all of those A's in math, English, and reading, and all those other classes. And if nothing else, love one another and look out for one another. Love one another and look out for one another. Thank you and God bless you. Um, so as I said, the projects like this don't happen um, by, by ourselves. There's so many people working behind the scenes. They don't, don't often get a lot of credit. But I want to give a big shout out to Council President Clark's amazing staff. I want I see Kurt and Jane and here. I, I don't know if anyone else here. Raise your hands, guys. I want to thank. Um, th th round of applause. These are the guys that work behind the scenes really hard. Um, Jeff and Janae and everybody else on the Council President staff. He has, he's an amazing staff, and we love working with them. And we're so grateful uh, to all of them for their amazing support. Um, I want to thank the great staff at Parks and Recreation, um, our, our um, head of capital projects at Perna Palantino, uh, along with Stephanie Craighead, Francesco Sarai, and also Jamika Smith, who managed this project. A big, big round of applause for Jamika, who was the architect that worked on this project. Thank you so much. Um, I want to thank your rec leader, Sam Owens. Where's Sam? <laughs> Thank you, Sam. And Beth Perkowski, your district manager. I want to thank the other staff here at, uh, at CB Moore. Uh, where's uh, Odessa Tate? Is she here? Miss Barbara Bell as well. Jasmine Hatcher. Um, I want to thank Co Coach Cook. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ed Hunt, everybody who has helped to make, um, not you know, these folks don't just help to make projects like this possible, but they're here every single day making sure that this is a, a safe and, and beloved space for everybody in this community. Um, so Council President Clark is right when he says that Mr. Ron Lewis um, is, is uh, no shrinking wallflower. He's not someone that, that, that is behind the scenes by any stretch of the imagination. He is right out in front, and he is working hard every single day uh, to bring resources back to this community. Community, um, specifically here to see me more. I met him here right when I started in this job. This was one of my first visits, and I came out and saw Sam and and uh, and Ron, and and they let me know in no uncertain terms uh, that this needed to be a priority for this administration. And and I promised you guys, and it might not happen overnight, but you know, um, we're gonna we're gonna be here to support you 100% in seeing this not just this investment, but other investments to come uh, to see me more. We want to make this a showcase center in North Philadelphia. We want to make this 
uh, destination um, where young people can thrive and grow up and learn and experience new things and have amazing experiences. It is an absolute treasure. This is a beautiful, beautiful old building. This building is almost 100 years old, right? Um, it is. It has such history uh, in this community, and it's up to us to transform that, to reimagine that, and think about how we can make sure that everything we do in that building is relevant to this community today. Um, and we will work to do that, and we'll work to do that together. But without further ado, please join me in welcoming um, a man who represents this rec center so well and its advisory council, Ron Lewis. Wow. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so ecstatic to be here right now because this is a moment that we waited for for a long time. I'd like to thank the commissioner, state rep, and I, you know I have a special, special thanks for this other gentleman because I did go to City Hall and I said all kinds of things about what we need and how we need it and things of that nature and he shocked me and he came down here one day on his own unannounced and when he walked in and seen everything that was going on that we told him about he made us a promise of something that he would do and uh, Coach Cook who y'all know is an icon here Cook been here for over 30 years doing everything Cook is everything here to be honest with y'all right but Cook stood up and Cook said listen that's my man President Darrell Clark if he tell you he gonna do something he gonna try to get it done and most of all he, he gonna get it done and guess what he got it done <laughs> he got it done I gotta say that he got it done you know, and, and us in the neighborhood, this is just the beginning for us, y'all. They promised us a whole lot more with this. But see, we waited so long till we really didn't believe. I got to pinch myself and see that I'm still here with this. You know what I mean? But when I see all their faces, these little kids, because that's what I talked about down City Hall, the kids that came here and didn't have nothing to play with. No swings, no nothing, going to other playgrounds and things of that nature. Now we got our own, and we're very happy. Are we very grateful? Yes. No. Are we very grateful? Yes. Y'all know what I told y'all to say? Yes. On three. One, two, three. Thank you, Mr. President Clark. <laughs> Listen, there's no more to say than what they just said just now. You know what I mean? I'd like to thank everyone. We are, well, we are humble and grateful for this new establishment we have now, and we're looking forward to the future. Thank everyone. Appreciate that. Thank you all. Thank you.